Hi, this is the Weekly Hit List for the Edmonton Journal for the week of November 14th. Well, this week, of course, saw Remembrance Day being marked around the country by hundreds of thousands of people. And here in Edmonton, we caught up with a woman who played a key role in the Second World War. Dorothy Lincoln was a code breaker for the British government at Bletchley Park. She says she knew her work was very important because she was sworn to secrecy about it for three decades. She is, of course, allowed to talk to us now about it. And reporter Dan Barnes sat down with her for her story. Well, few topics in Edmonton are more controversial than photo radar. And that issue has come up again this week. Many people have criticized the city for the program, calling it a cash grab. And now folks are upset by the city ticketing people who are driving less than 10 kilometers over the speed limit. We wanted to know, what do you think? Do you think it's fair? You'll want to take our online poll. Two Edmonton men have an idea for a snowball fight that has, well, snowballed. Robin Lesminder and Jeff Chase came up with the idea to get hundreds of people together for a massive snowball fight when the first big snowstorm of the season hits. So they took to social media to get some people involved and the idea has taken off. They now have a couple thousand people signed up and they're trying to break a Guinness World Record for the most people in a snowball fight. If you wanna sign up, you can check our site for details. And finally, we have a special report coming up this weekend that you won't want to miss. I can't tell you much about it right now, so you'll want to check out the paper on Saturday morning or the website to get all of the details. I promise you won't be disappointed. For links to all these stories, look below or go to edmontonjournal.com slash thehitlist.